Hi everyone, I know it's been a while since I've made a video and today I'm just doing a really short unboxing of an Elena of Avalor doll which is from Disney Junior. This is uh, Princess Marina of Coronado and this is from one of the episodes from the show, The Secret... I think it's called The Secret Life of Serenas and she is a mermaid this doll is made by Hasbro and she was really challenging to get um, I had seen her coming out and then luckily I did get her online and when you look at her up close her face paint is really pretty um, she has a sculpted body and sculpted tail and she is pretty in terms of articulation she's very simple For the most part, she's very easy to open. She doesn't have many ties or anything like that. She does require scissors to cut her out. So if you are not allowed to use scissors by yourself, please ask your parent in order to open this doll if you do receive it. So you can see that the tail is put in separately, I'm assuming because the with the tail attached, it would have been too big to fit in the box. Her fin is made of this really nice clear plastic. The I really like the designs on the plastic. They're molded on detail, and it looks like bubbles and also a trident, and it looks very royal. So the doll has a little piece in the bottom of her tail that's hollowed out, so that way you can insert the fin. So you, you may need to get your parents' help for this if you were a little bit younger it's pretty easy to put in you just kind of push it through and then it clicks it kind of moves a little bit from side to side the doll itself her face mold is very unique she almost looks like a disney descendants doll and she has really beautiful eye makeup and paint she has sculpted pointy ears the hair is beautiful on the stall it's very thick i love the colors of it she has a sculpted um kind of like a crown in a sense it goes around just half of her head it is um put into the head with a little tag um there is this kind of um plastic piece that you can take off but it leaves a big hole right in her chest so it's almost like um, just a piece of the dress. She has very minimal articulation in her arms. It's really only up or down. It does not, her arms do not go to the side. And um, she can only bend at the waist. She has a little bit of um, a fabric, kind of like a tutu around her waist. And the sculpted detail of her, kind of like a crown, has a shell with some bubbles. The hair is so beautiful on this doll. It's really thick. The sculpting of the body is really nice. It's very um, kind of stylized in a way that resembles almost waves and swirls of water, some bubbles. It is a little bit different um, than it's, it is in the show on that episode, which I'll insert a picture so you can see. 
overall, I, I actually do like the sculpted design on the body and the tail. And I love the eyebrows and the way that she's side glancing. And I love the lip color. And just in general, I'm really fond of this facial sculpt and the fact that she has pointed ears. There's not a whole lot of dolls aside from maybe some other fairy dolls or I'm not sure if Enchantimals also have that same sculpt around the ears. I think some of them do, but um, this one's really, really unique. And then when you compare it to the promotional picture that's on the back of the box, she looks pretty much the same. It's I don't know if they just took this picture after they've actually made all the dolls, but this does look exactly like the prototype, if that is one. You can also see that she has a bracelet that connects into a ring. This is very reminiscent of some of the designs from Disney Descendants. The only thing I didn't really like about it was that there is a hole in her hand where the bracelet attaches to. So from the other side, you can see a hole in the palm of her hand, which I'm really not that fond of. Alright, I hope you guys like this video and thank you so much for watching.